had pretty good response on Part 6A, Ron Paul and Education. One gentleman commented that Ron Paul actually voted against school prayer at one time. That's true, but let's get things straight now. He voted against school prayer because first and above all else, he believes that school prayer is not a federal issue. In that respect, Ron Paul is consistent on his views. He just doesn't want government doing anything for the people. Nothing at all. Everything is states' rights with Ron Paul. Here's the problem. School prayer is a national issue. You can't take the federal government out of school prayer. If you did, you would have 50 different states all determining what school prayer is all across this country. And therein lies the paradox of Ron Paul. On one hand, he votes against school prayer on the federal level. By taking the federal government out of defining what school prayer is all across this nation, you are allowing 50 different states to make their own definitions. Advocating the mixing of religion and government is the fastest way anyone can think of to destroy this nation. Voting against school prayer on the national level does not get Ron Paul off the hook. By advocating let the states determine school prayer, he's asking for the destruction of this country. All right, all right, that's enough on Ron Paul regarding uh, school prayer. Let's get on to Part 6C, where we'll talk more about Ron Paul, education, and how his religious views uh, determine his decisions.